Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to do another critique. It's going to be a rather quick video because I'm just going to bring out uh, one important point. And uh, so after this intro, we'll get right into it. Alright, well here is another submitted drawing uh, to the Ricks Can Do It Realistic Drawing Group. And uh, it's a very nice drawing of a man with a cowboy hat on. And uh, I think the artist did a pretty good job of, of drawing this up. Now the printout isn't that great, unfortunately. Um, it, it looked like it was taken with like a phone camera or something while it was laying down somewhere. You can see the, the, the edge of the paper there of the original. But it's enough for me to just bring out a, a certain point, and I hope that this will help the uh, artist who uploaded it uh, to get this to the next level. And that is uh, working on uh, transition of shading or tone transitions. In other words, when we talk about tones, you know, we're talking about these different values here. You have this light tone value, you have your dark tone value, you have your mid tones which are in between. See here you have dark and then you have this mid tone here and then you have this light tone right across the face here and emanating off of the shirt and, and so forth. And there's a when whenever you have like going from a dark straight to a light uh, it causes a, a very sharp transition, which is it, it can be look it can look really harsh, especially if it's happening on a person's face and neck, like in this particular case here. Now it's really really evident when we take a look at this dark area right here on the neck, the chin, and uh, the right side of his face, which is the left side to us here. And you can see that it goes from a dark to a mid-tone and, and one big jump just goes boom with no intermediate transition whatsoever, which is not natural. Uh, when a person's face is rounded and not with a sharp edge, he doesn't have a sharp edge like a block or a cube or something, uh, but it is rounded, you want to give that a rounded effect then you're going to see a transition from dark to mid-tone to light. And we're not seeing it here. The neck really shows this up really well, so I'll use this as the example. Here you have this light that's coming in here, and he's got it shown here very, very bright. Now, this here looks like he's kind of ghosting, you know, like he's got some halo or something effect here, because this is not actually his neck goes up to the hat right here. This is this is his neck right here. So this this bright shady area really doesn't belong here for one. But what it should should do here is that the the side of the neck here would be this really light and then very gently you would go from light to little less light to a little less light than that and so forth until you reached the dark. So in this case here, if we go the other way, we go from dark to the mid-tone, this darkness, we can see it's this sharp edge right here, but he is not a block. He's not a square. He doesn't have a sharp edge to his neck. So there should be a transition here from dark to light and it's, it's kind of like a fade. So you go from dark and then you would go a little lighter and a little lighter and light until it just fades out really nice gradual fades out now I can't really do this on this paper here or using this pencil here it's it, no way for me to emulate it so I have to do mostly explaining but you just kinda wanna make it go soft transition from dark and then just Feather it out, I guess is a good way to say it, is feather it out into the light. So you don't have this really harsh 
uh, darkness to light immediately jumping from one to the other. Same from down here. Should go from dark and then just lighten up. So this area right here, I would say, should be between this tone and this tone. This would be a, a lighter tone. It would be somewhere in the middle. Now if I was to, for example, this gray scale here is a good example of it, okay? Now if you take this neck here and you go, okay, this is, this is uh, right over here in this area, okay? value two and then you jump over to this right next door you're already going you're going to a uh, let's say a, a let's say it's probably somewhere around a six or a seven well from a two to a six or a seven you're missing all these values right here on the way from here to here you should have these values showing up in some sl uh, thin sliver right here so you can see the transition going from value two to value six, rather than just jumping uh, right over it, for example. So let me give you an example. I'll use the back of this. Now this is again is very slick uh, printer paper, inkjet paper, and I don't know how well it's going to grab this because uh, I've never tried it before. And this is some really nice paper that I use in my printer. But I'm going to try to show you here for what I'm talking about. So here's here's the dark side of the neck. Okay, so this is this is representing the dark side of his neck right here. This is this is our value two, let's say, in in, in this scale here. Okay, and let me just get enough of it in here. So this is the dark side of his neck. Now as you move through the roundness of his neck into the light of the neck, then you're going to start taking some pressure off that pencil and you're going to do this transition into the light. Okay, it should be a gradual transition and this gives the viewer the impression that there is rounding here going from dark to light. So you have this transition. Now let me just zoom in. So you can see that I went from dark but then it went a little lighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter and then of course the paper would be as light as you're going to get and here I'm just going to use like a fork 4H pencil to give me the lightest texture that I'm going to get on my skin here, let's say. And there you go. So you have this transition. This is called a transition here, or there's other words for it. I just don't remember at the moment what we would call it. And if you want to give more realistic uh, you want your drawing to be even more realistic looking, like photorealistic, for example, then you want to start practicing your blending skills. So here's a paper blender, for example, and you want to be able to come in and smooth out those tones, and then you can smooth it out into the light, from dark into the light, so you're actually moving some of that material into the light area, and you can just keep going back and forth until you get it just the way you want. But don't press hard in the paper or you could mess up the tooth of it and that won't be good. Especially with graphite because you will, you'll cause a really bad shine to occur. But as you can see, using this blender, you get this really nice smooth transition from dark, from dark to light very smooth okay and so that's what you want to do rather than having these very harsh transitions from here to here you definitely want to have this smooth and so you'll go in here and you're gonna you're gonna get your dark area and then you're gonna start lightening it up into the light lightening it up into the light do the same thing for the side of the face here it shouldn't go dark to mid that quick 
there should be some transition in between until you get to the mid-tone and then from the mid-tone some transition till you get to the light from the light you see this is not too bad here you got light and then you want to kind of transition into this shaded area here so you give this rounded appearance and uh, a real quick note too to the the artist who did this so you just keep in mind uh, don't make this glow coming off the side of the neck like this because um, you're not going to actually see a halo you want that light to be actually just off the edge of the neck itself which is really right here and then you just want to get into the darker and get darker and darker just like that okay and your background will this background here will form the the edge because it will be a different tone than the slight highlight coming from the sun here and if he's got all this light going off his face here and, and this here must I guess that might be his ear I can't really tell but you you definitely need kind of a better edge let's say from this hat um, if he's got this light bouncing off here then that light should also be really bouncing off the side of the hat here and you really should have that light coming off the hat here so if you got it this pronounced here it should be pretty much the same pronounced here off this hat up here and off this curved part of the hat here but that's just that's not really part of this video uh, that's just a side comment anyway so in this one here we're talking about tr smooth transitions from dark to light from light to dark whenever you have rounded surfaces whether it's fabric whether it's a person's face whether it's a curved hat anything that doesn't have a sharp edge to it should have a transition of tonal values from dark to light not jumping directly from dark to light unless the actual object has a sharp corner like a square cube something like that so when you think rounded think of one of those spheres where you go from dark and then it gets lighter 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 something really good to practice with okay so practice on transitions when you're doing your drawing such as this one here and I guarantee you it will bring it up one two three new levels towards photorealism well I hope you like this critique video if so please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you in the next video bye